All right, Bob Chick for MD. We're here at the Dallas Euro Open. Who better to catch up with when you're in Dallas? But Dallas, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just sitting here meeting all the fans, you know, having a good time. It's great. It's great to see everybody. Yeah, what would be great is to see your ass on stage, man. What are we doing? Let's go. Early next year. Something early next year, you know, like the uh, Orlando, something like something like that, yeah. Now, what was the strategy? Uh, now, now, you work with Hani Rambot, obviously, as everybody knows by now. Uh, Hani is a very strategic methodology of picking shows, which I think is very smart, actually. I always give you some uh, grief, you know, for not competing yet. But I think a much smarter move in the future, obviously, to be ready and be prepared and go into a competition with an actual, you know, uh, ways and means of winning the thing. Right, right, yeah. Um, well, all along, ever since even before Hani, um, when I turned pro in 2012 with the North Americans, the goal was, you know, that uh, when signing with BSN and MD, the, the whole long-term goal and plan was that we were going to, you know, make sure we were good and ready before anything happened, you know. Before I did committed to any shows or did anything, we we're going to make sure we are ready. And, and the timeline's always been, you know, regardless of what everybody thinks and what everybody says out on the forums, the timeline's always been 2015. You know, that's always been my, my goal, and uh, BSN's been uh, on board with that, and, you know, uh, MD as well. So uh, that's, uh, you know, that's always been the goal, and that's what we're doing. So it's going and, great. And for those who don't know, I mean, nobody was probably more surprised than yourself to actually get your pro card. Yeah. We, we actually oh, yeah. talked and did an interview immediately after your one, and you were, you were about as taken aback as it gets. I mean, yeah. you know, obviously you were there to do your best, get your feet wet and all that stuff, but, you know, you ended up in the winner's circle. You know, really not prepared really to be a professional bodybuilder at that point. So uh, I'll attest to that actually. And and obviously the notion that people keep saying you're scared of the pros or you know you don't want no part of these guys on stage. You know that kind of stuff that we keep hearing. Yeah, uh, not scared. <laughs> no. Never been scared a day in my life. But no, it was that way really. It's uh, you know, I, I went into the show and it was my first ever shot. You know, first national level show. And I thought, well, I mean, you know, top five, top ten, whatever. I'm going to be happy no matter what I do. You know, and. And uh, as everybody knows, you know, Dan moved up. I caught a lot of shit over that. And then, you know, and so on and so forth. But the way I look at it is uh, I was the second best person at that show. So, you know, if it wasn't that show, it was Nationals or USA's or whatever in just a few months. So I was ready, you know, whether people want to admit it or not. So I don't, I don't really care. Um, you know, so the thing was is while I might have been ready to win those shows, right. I don't think what I would consider ready to compete as a pro, I wasn't there yet. So now it's just, you know, the last year and a half or year, we've been just steady, you know, taking plugs and chunks away from narrowing the gap. And uh, I think we're really getting close, you know, especially when I come to these things and I see the guys on stage, you know, and I see all the, uh, the other athletes working the expo. And, you know, I got Jay coming up to me. You know, tell me I look big. You know, when Jay Cutler tells you you look big, that's that's pretty good. You know, so that's not a, that's not a bad uh, testament. You know, coming from a four-time Mr. Olympian, obviously a future Hall of Famer. So, well, Dallas, you're obviously one of the bigger, newer guys. Uh, at six one and a half, three hundred plus pounds. Mm -hmm. in the off season, um, it's going to take a little longer. You know, obviously, it's, you got a big frame to fill out. A lot of the guys who have turned pro, uh, you know, alongside you, and since then, you know, five eight, five seven, five yeah. nine, big difference there. Uh, the way I look at it is, it's um, like you said, it's a lot bigger frame to fill out. But when you fill that frame out and you're standing on stage, you know, and you're 30 pounds bigger than the guy beside you and four or five inches taller, um, you know, it's it's gotta gotta help you out a little bit at least. You it know? ain't gonna hurt the cause, my brother. That's no, for sure. No. Well, Dallas, good catching up with you, brother. We'll see you at the other expos throughout the year, of course. Look for the big debut on an IFBB stage early 2015 for Dallas McCarver. This is Bob Chick. We're out.